And as we get closer to Memorial Day, weekend warriors are going to be firing up the grill. But slow cooking is another option. So our food reporter continues his three-part series on various slow-cooked meats. It's our Friday night special, and Steve Dolinsky tonight joining us with a taste. You, you think I had fun on this series? Oh, I had yeah. a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. Uh, there is grilling. It's usually a fairly rapid process. Then there is barbecue, which implies slow cooking over smoldering wood, the smoke imparting a distinctive flavor while also breaking down the connective tissue. Well, last week we focused on Texas-style brisket, but this week it's all about the pulled pork and ribs in an unlikely North Suburban mall. The North Shore isn't exactly the first place you'd think of for slow-smoked beef and pork, but the oxymoronic real urban barbecue in a Highland Park mall on Central Avenue is turning out juicy baby backs and pulled pork as good as anywhere else in the region. The folks that are winning all of the awards in the competition circuit are all using pellet cookers. So I did my research and talked to a lot of people and pellet cookers was the way to go for this application. That means wood pellets ignited by gas, not exactly an old school Carolina or Texas approach, but still, the results are impressive. The ribs we were pulling off a membrane, we're dry rubbing them with our all purpose seasoning, and we are putting it into the cooker. Into the cooker goes uh, roughly four hours, 250, 270 degrees. It won't give you that telltale pink smoke ring, but it does do the job transforming those ribs into something special. When an order comes in, they're grilled for about a minute per side and mopped with sauce. Pork shoulders get the same care and attention with a dry rub, then a much longer time in the smoker. The pork shoulders, really, they tell you when it's ready. We cook to temperature as opposed to time, so every shoulder comes in a little bit differently. And these come out just fine, shredded with bear claws. It's mounded onto sturdy buns and topped with creamy coleslaw. Other notable sides include baked beans and corn cakes, but it's the proteins that shine here. And Shapiro, a former Lettuce Entertain You partner, is already looking at bringing his concept to other barbecue-starved suburbs. I think barbecue is one of those kind of items that people are willing to travel for. It. So we're getting people in from Wisconsin, we're getting people in from uh, Prospect and, you know, Barrington, and they're coming into Highland Park for barbecue. And no surprise, he is planning on opening additional locations in the suburbs. And next week, we head south and east for rib tips and hot links. So pack the wet naps. More information about urban barbecue or to learn <laughs> some of the other great barbecue places I've got in the region, um, abc7chicago.com. Look on the lower left side. There's the Hungry Hound tab. That links you to my stories and videos. Or call the info line, 312-750-7096. Yeah, it's going to be messy next week. Mm -hmm. Our resident uh, barbecue specialist, Jerry, he's was so excited about your piece that uh -huh. he's already gone. Mike's here now. <laughs> he's there. <laughs> he's he just took off. He's on round three, probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>